Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat Worlds again. And a little while ago, you might remember I made a tips video on the bolt actions and SLRs for the BF5 bootcamp section on the Battlefield website. And in today's video, I just kind of wanted to expand on that one a little bit because the SLR tips were pretty general. And as you know, there's two different types of SLRs in this game. The Assault SLRs are kind of like the old SLRs and DMRs from the previous games, but you've probably figured out by now that the Recon SLRs play very differently. And some of you guys might be wondering how to use them properly, and so that's what we're going to talk about today. Here's my top tips and tricks in no particular order for the Recon SLRs in Battlefield 5. All right, so to kick off, the first thing you need to know about the Recon SLRs is that they are some of the most powerful guns in the game at mid to long range. And in BF5, that's a pretty big deal because on just about every map, you can find a way to exploit this. And if you're a good player, you shouldn't find it too hard to do reasonably well with these guns. The reason for this is because unlike the Assault SLRs, they can usually kill in two shots at any range, or sometimes three in the case of guns like the Auto Loading 8. But as a trade-off for this, just like with the Bolt Action Rifles, they do come with some pretty crazy disadvantages, and most of all, they're going to make you pretty hopeless in close quarters. So what are the disadvantages? Well, firstly, they all have a fairly low capacity and fairly long reload times, sometimes loading with stripper clips or even one round at a time. And so the first tip I want to give you guys in this video is make sure if you have the option somewhere in your specialization tree that you buff the ammo capacity or the reload speed if you can. Also, just like you would with a bolt action rifle, when you get a kill, top up the mag unless there's enemies in your field of view, because one or two rounds isn't going to take a ton of time. And most importantly, you'll want to do this because sometimes you'll run into those situations where you miss three times out of five, and you might miss the current kill if you haven't reloaded all your rounds from the last one. Now, another big issue with the mag size is just like with the bolt actions, you are going to run into the issue of running out of ammo pretty quickly. And I mean, if you start with 25 rounds, well, you potentially can kill like 12 players, but as you know, in reality, you are going to waste a lot more rounds with an SLR, and that's not going to happen. So in other words, unless you want to really limit the shots you take, like you would say with a bolt action rifle, then you will need to resupply as soon as you can after you spawn for an extra mag. And also another tip is get on the comms with your support players or with your squad leader and make sure they know you are going to need some extra help with resupply crates. Obviously the best way to avoid wasting ammo though, and something that will help you get more kills in the long run, is don't ever spam the trigger like you would with an assault SLR. Because after all, these guns are technically sniper rifles, so just like you would with a bolt action, take it slow, take deliberate shots, and hold your breath if you need some extra stability. Also, something else I should mention here is you might not realize that Scope Glint is tied to the Recon class in general, and not just the bolt action rifles on their own. And so once again, just treat these guns like the sniper rifles they are. Avoid three times scopes and above if you can, especially because it'll stop stripper clip reloads. And if you do have to use them, don't stay scoped in for too long or you'll attract attention. Now, just before we finish up, as for some general tactics for these guns, obviously the first point to make is don't get into CQB if you can help it, because these guns just aren't designed for it. But with that being said, I mean, they do have more potential in CQB than a bolt action does. So I'd say if you do get into a sticky situation, go ahead and dump your SLR mag first before you switch to your sidearm. Also, on the other hand, you don't want to camp with these guns because, like I said before, you just don't have the ammo to waste missing shots, which you will do at long range. And whatever you do, don't try and dual bolt action snipers because, and this is something to remember as a general rule, your headshots won't kill in one hit and theirs will. The way you'll actually probably want to play this class is more like an aggressive recon, for example, on the attack, moving up just behind the main body of your force. And on the other hand, on defense, you want to play a little bit more like, say, an MMG player would, by locking down the main lanes leading to objectives without exposing yourself too much. 
And with that being said, I think probably another tip for these guns would be try and use them in conjunction with the Pathfinder roll, the spawn beacon, and some smoke grenades. And you'll find, especially if you're the squad leader, you should be able to use these gadgets to funnel your squad into the right direction, and then you can just hang out behind them, acting as a mobile spawn point, and, of course, stealing all their kills. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up today's video, so make sure you let me know what you think of the Recon SLRs in the comments section below. And also, if you're struggling with a particular weapon category or combat role in Battlefield 5, let me know that as well, and I'll see what I can do about making it into another tips video in the future. As always, though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also, don't forget, you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later, and have a good one.